If you don't want to aim at that person, you will not be able to move away. It'll just push you to that person every time. Now, what I did was, I've got it to do so it only scans a percentage of the screen. So regardless of the screen size, it only does about three quarters. That's why the numbers, for example, you've got 3.5 here. So it does, for example, the whole screen minus 3.5 of that, uh, divided by 3.5. So it's like... Uh, for example, it only scans up to here, and then only scans up to here. So the scanning area becomes much smaller. It becomes like, for example, here, 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 here. And then I also do on the y-axis. So you're only scanning, for example, this area of the screen, which makes it much faster, you see. So hopefully that made sense to you. Um, and that's what this code basically does. If you want to try and make sense of it, read it, try and get some logic. But um, we're taking up way too much time, so I can't really go over that. Um, <clears throat> what we'll do now is we're going to do a for loop, which is exactly the same to do the x-axis. So I'm going to copy that uh, so that um, because I'm lazy, obviously. But it's I'm just going to replace everything, and I'll try not to make a mistake. So it's right minus left, right. So right, uh, replace our bottoms with right and left there. Uh, divided by three by five. So scan. Uh, scan rc window dot right minus left uh, that's fine for me and that's divided by four which is also fine by me uh, we then have less than and rc left uh, right minus left which is fine minus that and then it's divided by four here that's the difference here I believe uh, all this means is that it can scan a little bit further to the uh, in the width side of things than it can on height the reason I did that for example, you got 3.5 here. I didn't want it to scan too high or too low. Okay, so what we then do is say if compare color. So what we've done here, technically, is all we're doing is we're scanning through our pixel array. Okay. Technically, we're just scanning through our window size, but you'll see how it works. So we scan p pixels. We send the pixels in there. Scan bm dot bm height. I believe it's height. We want to send and then width, which is exactly the same thing, pretty much. <clears throat> I really hope Fraps doesn't screw up on me, or I'm going to kill myself. Bm um, bm dot width. Yep, and then we send in x and y. Now the reason for that is so we know exactly where to put the mouse. Okay. Set cursor pause. So set cursor position now. Set cursor position. Now what we're doing now, we're doing exactly what we like to do. X plus scan. Now this is my own homemade thing I had to do, like for the past amount of code we have to, we've had to do. I had to come up with all that. Uh, certain things that took me a lot of time. Um, I've been stuck on some stuff for days, which is stupid, but um, it's all right now. Hopefully you guys can make some good use of this. But, um, Y plus four. Now I'll explain this to you right now, and then plus scan RC window dot top. So what this does, what this function does here is it. For example, we find the pixel that we want. We compare the color. We need to write this as well, but this is a very quick one to write. Uh, we send in the pixels. We send in the height, the width, and the position on the x axis, which is the wide one, and the y, which is the vertical. Uh, the other one's horizontal uh, x um, and what we do is we say if the color matched so we're looking for blue we found blue so that matches uh, we set the cursor at that position so we set our mouse to that point and then we say um, send this in here so we send on the x and then we say y plus four now what that means now this was something i learned from practice and experimenting um, if you do uh, just Y, it means it, as soon as it reaches the top of the head, for example, there you go, it sets the position there. Now, that can be tricky because uh, if it's right at the top of the head and you take a shot, it might just go over the head and miss them. If you do plus four, it will go, if you know how screens work, it plus technically increases the value, so plus brings it down. Um, and if you do plus four, it will bring it down a little bit, so it will allow you to shoot them straight in the face instead of shooting just above the head although it will work with just y it will work more times than with y plus 4 don't do plus 10 for example because long distances you will see changes where you for example shoot 
next to their neck which will not kill them um, so yeah that's it that's why I use that and if you download the source at the end you'll see all my comments that explain all that so I'm gonna keep going um, what we then do okay point I'm gonna declare a couple of things point current pause pause declare that there and we say get cursor position cursor position what all this does again is it finds out where our mouse is and current pause We then say um, so. There's a function here that we can declare or not. Uh, I'm going to call it shoot bot. Shoot bot. Now you can choose whether you want uh, you want it to shoot automatically or not. And what this means: x plus scan, uh, scan dash rc. Don't left. The reason why I'm writing this commented is because we haven't actually declared any of these things. RC window dot top, I believe. Yep, that's correct. And what what this means is it shoots. Now, from my experience, if you have it shooting by itself, it won't be as good as if you're shooting it yourself. So, for example, um, what it will do is it will lame and shoot, and it will kill the enemy a lot of the times, which is fine. Um, but I think this way. It's a bit better where you just shoot yourself. If you want, uncomment this. Uh, we'll create the shoot bot in a minute. Um, uncomment that if you like, and it will shoot by itself. So feel free to try that, which I think is also quite good. But uh, I, I prefer to have it. Um, I prefer to have it just you shooting and not it shooting, because it, it's, it's going to be more accurate in the end. In the end, what I will do at the end though is I'll tell you some ways where you can improve the accuracy quite a lot. You like you like them, I tell you that much. So return. So it found the color. We leave the we leave the full uh, scan and we make it take an off, a new screenshot and scan again. Okay. So this is pretty much what we're looking for. We're going to create a shoot bot now, which is something very simple. I'm not going to clear that at the top because it's something very simple. You can do that yourself, you guys. So if you're wondering why I'm rushing, it's because we still have a fair amount to go through and I don't have that much hard drive love left. But hopefully you guys can still keep up nicely. If not, um, you can kill yourself. No, I'm joking. Just go back a little bit if you're having trouble. But hopefully you're not. So mouse event. Mouse. What the hell, man? Mouse event. This one. It has to be the small. I don't think it makes a difference, actually. I don't know. I don't really care. So mouse event f underscore left. That's beautiful. Comma X, comma Y. That's what we want it to shoot. Comma, uh -huh. Beautiful. So what we what this means? What the hell, man? Oh, sorry, my bad. Int X, int Y. And what this means is that uh, we want it to shoot. Press mouse. Uh, mouse left up. Yeah. So what this means is uh, take a shot, press the mouse down, and then press it up because. It won't count as a shot unless you release your mouse click, you see, that's like in real life. So if you're shooting a pistol, you can press down as much as you like, unless it's an automatic. If you don't let go, it's not going to shoot. So that's that there. Uh, we can leave that on if we like. You see, hopefully it recognizes it, that's good. I'm going to leave mine commented for now. Uh, you guys feel free to uncomment yours. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so one thing I made a small mistake on, obviously, well, it's not really a mistake, but it's just make sure you put shoot bot as void because that's what I did. I did on my original one. Okay, so no, no, no compare color. So compare color is missing. We're going to do that now. So let's look for that there. Look for it here, and we'll make a copy of it, and then write our code. Uh, so let's find a place for it at the end because we've declared the function prototype at the top. To so do that, declare it here, and you'll see this is a very quick one to do. Oh, for God's sakes, oh, I'm such an idiot, I did it again. There you go, that's better now, hopefully. Um, so yeah, guys, um, probably not going to get the biggest audience right now, but um, if you're still around, I've got a lot of tutorials coming up. Uh, I've got the more difficult stuff coming up, hopefully. Because I've been managing my site, I haven't been able to do much. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring out some of the good stuff soon. Okay, so what we do is say int p equals... <clears throat> now this is Microsoft's formula, this isn't mine. Height minus y minus 1 times width 
plus x. Now what this does is it grabs exactly the element uh, that we're looking for in the array. Okay, so we want to find if we want to compare the color of that within this array, the pixels array. Um, we need to know exactly what element to, tar to target based on all these things. So the y-axis, the x-axis, width and height, and this is what we use for that. So think of this as, for example, finding. Uh, let's say on our scan we're looking for 10 this is that 10 okay so this is very straightforward so then we do if int int uh, and then pixels p pixels p dot you see what this is now oh, I didn't know it was reserved uh, rgb red rgb red <coughs> Is less than 30. Now I'm, I'm setting this up for blue. Int. I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be lazy. Dot. Uh, that one's green, I assume. Yep. It's less than 30. And and int. Dot RGB blue. <coughs> and my voice is going. 215. 215. So what we're saying here is saying. So just going to do that. So we're saying if our red is less than 30 and our green is less than 30 and our blue is more than 15. Now, if you don't know about RGB levels, let me just give you a quick view. From um, taking a print screen of the actual game to know what cameras I was dealing with, I came up with this number. So if you want to know, let's say, for example, you want to find out what number, let's just choose a color here quickly. Let's say you're in a game and you want to find out what exact color the cams is, because they're not always exactly red, exactly blue, whatever. So you, you see that button on your keyboard next to scroll lock and uh, above insert it's called print screen so you press print screen I'm sure most of you guys know this I don't want to make um, try and make you guys sound like idiots but I just want to make sure the beginners understand this as well so you press this here there's this if you're using paint down now I really recommend you get this because it's useful every now and then you grab that color the picker you use it here let's say so this is my actual thing this is an image so I pick it here as you can see it gives me some numbers here so that's R for red green and blue those are the values now if we put the values that we are looking for on our um, on our thing here so let's just do that close that a little bit yeah so the values are here so let's say red we want less than 30 so let's go for 30 we want green to be less than 30 so let's put 30 there and 215 and you see what color it gives us it gives us a, a nice little blue and now I didn't do too high here in case what if it's uh, slightly uh, darker in a room uh, so it can still shoot them so these numbers are good for me now if you want a, a red you can just say um, 215 you change that to greater than and you put this one less than 30 okay but I want blue for myself so if you want a different one then that's fine you go for that so all you do is you, if it equals true you just return true so you don't actually need to put the semi um, the brackets there but I tend to do it anyway so one thing I like to do here for debugging you can remove it if you like but I think you, you need it VK uh, delete is a good key I think we'll put delete so if we want to break out of the loop exit and reduce code zero so what if we're testing for example um, let's put some brackets around this actually make it easier for me to understand god and false so we got, oops typical new mistake okay so that's that so what this means here obviously is if we're comparing a color which is something that happens a lot of times per second uh, within our array and loops um, if we want to just we've seen some checking we just want to get out of the loop so we get out of the loop so okay so that should be good enough there um, yeah I'm happy with that so that's our compare color function done uh, just gonna compare it make sure it's fine yeah that seems more than fine to me so I've press F6 just to see if it builds it builds great 
let's see what's missing okay so i think it's about time we do some actual testing so um we're going to make sure our thing is working the way we want it so i'm just going to move this to the side here now you should have got this file now um within your uh, files required folder now you're probably wondering what the hell is this but I, I created this just for some testing uh, and I think it's pretty neat uh, that way you don't have to load the game up every time you want to test something you guys feel free to do that but I'm not going to do that so in order to test this to make sure it's scanning what we want to be scanning we're going to be doing something here so let's go to our do, 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 scan BMP function okay so let's look for that scan BMP and here you go you've got this 